Several channels that I watch have been talking about the infantilization of Western society, especially the United States. Most of them are just blaming culture itself, social media, TikTok, universities, and the fact that society has become far more tolerant and accepting. And as those things may indeed significantly contribute to this, I think another contributor is corporate America, especially the entertainment and toy industries, but also marketing in general. How about the adult Happy Meal? There's also the nostalgia part, but that could be a whole discussion on its own. I mean, I'm definitely into some nostalgia. My mystery commercial theater episodes speak for themselves. What people are referring to with this infantilization is when people are using and consuming products and entertainment that are originally designed for kids. We're not talking about collectors who collect things so they'll gain monetary value in time, and that's totally different. This is where adults are using and consuming products designed for kids the way that kids would. And don't get me wrong, I take no issue with adults doing this. Why does it matter if people are into this stuff? Why is it seen as mature and manly to go on a shooting range? How about needlessly killing animals using a rifle that has a laser scope? Four-wheeling in the mud? Making fun of gender non-conforming people? Going into road rage because someone made you go the speed limit? Getting into a fistfight at a bar? Mature and manly, right? Anyway, these companies want as much market expansion as possible. And if they're able to get adults interested in things that would normally be just for kids, that's a significant expansion. And then, of course, there's how they want to check as many diversity boxes as possible to bring in that many more people. And as I've said before, that kind of methodology is eventually going to backfire. I think we're already starting to see it backfire. There's really very little out there, at least that's heavily marketed, that's adult in the sense that it requires that someone has lived enough life experience to appreciate what's being presented, where someone had to have pondered a lot of things already, where someone really needs to have a mature mind to appreciate it, something that's intellectually stimulating. Most of our heavily marketed entertainment today would be perfectly understandable and even relatable by a 12-year-old. Even the NC-17 movies don't really require that much thinking. They're usually just either really gruesome or really sexual. But then again, I'm talking about the stuff that's heavily marketed, although you don't see NC-17 stuff be marketed that much anymore. But but the stuff that's heavily marketed is obviously the stuff that gets seen the most. Besides seeming a little bit creepy at times, I'd say that the biggest drawback of adults being interested in things that were normally designed for kids is that it makes everyone less mature in the end. But how important is maturity? Isn't being at least a little bit immature part of the creative process? Especially in comedy. And to enjoy a number of types of comedy, you have to be a little bit immature. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.